What up y'all and welcome back to another one in the lodge here. Just got done cleaning up. We had a boys weekend. And it got a little hairy in here. Lots of dog fur everywhere. But before we get going on this coyote hunt, I can hear Wade. He's just now pulling up. Uh, my best buddy Wade. Y'all uh, seen him at the beginning of the entire channel six years ago. And he hasn't been on a lot of uh, videos lately. So we're going to go out, try a coyote hunt. I'm taking uh, my freshly cleaned 12 gauge. Look at that. Benelli Beauty. Completely just polished her up. I'm ready to squeeze the old trigger on some dogs, hopefully. Wade is taking his rifle, but like I was saying before we get going, y'all, I am booking hunts here at my lodge, Sand Hill Flyway. And if you guys wanna come, any of you out there, it does not matter the group size. You do not have to have eight, you do not have to have 10 to book your hunt. It can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve, twenty of y'all. It doesn't matter. Uh, get a hold of me if you're interested. Uh, the Sand Hill Flyway website is always linked down in the description down below. If you're serious about getting prices and inquiring about a hunt, fill out the inquire to book form. Waterfowl season here in Central Kansas is amazing, and I couldn't be more proud to say that we uh, that we're going on our third year here running and. I mean, an honest, 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 uh, great track record. Awesome hunting, insane meals. Chef Burt is cooking up amazing meals, not just brats, not just macaroni, but etouffee and all sorts of yummy stuff. So I'd love to see you guys. Let's get at it. I did bring an array of ammunition today, not going to lie. Yeah, it's way down in there. I really don't know what to shoot. I'm thinking I brought a lot of turkey shells <laughs> and I brought some steel shots. So we'll see what happens. Not far away from putting stuff in the ground either. Right, yeah, that moisture this morning sure helped. It was unexpected. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't figure we'd be getting any. You know, they, I didn't even realize it was in the forecast. Until All right, well, I'll let you go. Good luck. If you have anything, just holler at me. Thank you, appreciate it. Have a good yep. afternoon. You bet. All right. You out here working your magic? Just doing my thing, man. Just doing my thing. Your job is talking to farmers. Yep. You're pretty damn good at it, not gonna lie. And I have to say, I've taken a few pointers from you over the years. What you gotta do sometimes. Got the little 17 HMR on you. I can't believe how small the ammunition is on that. It's crazy. Rabbit killer. Rabbit killer, coyote killer today. We'll see. Never shot one with it. We're walking in on the lease field, one of my lease fields. Uh, and we, I know there's a coyote den by the creek. So we're gonna try to get as close to the den as possible without getting too close. We'll try to call them to us. I just came in here to shed hunt, really. I didn't really want to get a coyote hunt. Uh, I got a good feeling about today. I think we're gonna kill a few, man snowed this morning you Looks honestly like could not tell we had what two inches Probably inch and a half ish close. somewhere right there this morning right now it's sitting at 55 ish would not be able to tell it snowed well here's our sitting spot the collar out only about 15 yards <sighs> wish us luck smash a thumbs up button hopefully we have some luck today we're gonna be spot jumping a bunch so I'm gonna try to get it done
Well, no go on the first spot. We are at the second spot. Uh, Wade has had really good luck here. He said, knock on wood, every time he's came here, he shot a dog. So let's see if we can make it happen again. He said he's had really good luck with shotgun out here. So here we go. This is awesome. This is what I love, doing something different. Big shout out to Wade for getting me out here and making it happen. I've been wanting to coyote hunt a lot, but haven't had a lot of opportunity to. Oh yeah. Oh, well, here we go. I really hope we can make it happen. That's a beauty, dude. I want one. I see that every time. I see him. That was so cool though. I was waiting for you to go, go! Well, I, usually, they, I was waiting for them to be lying at that freaking call. They should, they, I mean, how close? 45, 50, 45 yards? Let's put that one flanked us this yeah, way. Probably. It's like birds, it's like goose hunting. Mm hmm. You want to get them as close as you can. Mm hmm. 
Look at that, Kansas wheat field. We got two rounds of moisture and the wheat has just sprung up. It's looking gorgeous. New spot. We had three to four dogs on that last one. That was insane. We could have killed the one, but there are more coming and flanked us pretty quick. Number four, I have became one with the evergreen. There we go, baby. Right there, right there, right there. See him. There he comes, there he comes. There we go. Two. Oh. That was it. Oh, nice shot. He's hurting. He's hurting. You nailed him. That's a little freaking. That was a long ways. He's down in that dilly. I can come out. If you want to walk him out right now. <laughs> oh, that one Too got long. up here. That one got up here. I was like, oh, now, now, now. We got houses around us, so we can't bring the big gun. We yeah. got to stick with a little pew pew. Oh, that was awesome. And we reached out. Good and shot. Tagged him on how a far, run. How far was that, you think? I don't know, but on a run. Holy cow, with the old 17. I don't know if I peppered him at all, but. Yeah. Usually I keep shells in my pocket, but I didn't think I'd go through 10. He's in that draw. Yep. There we go. Holy smokes. <laughs> Sweet. Dude, that first, that one came hard. I mean, just one, running. He, he just came out of this little shelter belt that had a little bit of grass in it, and that's where he came out of. They cover so much ground so freaking fast, it's amazing. All right, we're gonna go find this dog. Two coyotes. That was awesome. That's freaking sweet. <laughs> that was bad. Oh. Oh. Dude. That was that dude sweet. Came quick. He was just dude. laid up in that grass. That's all it was was in that tree row. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. I'd use the hill to your advantage and try to go. Anything, so. Oh, you're out of ammo? <laughs> I got three. I'll go walk him out. somewhere oh 
I used this straw. I bet. Yep. I bet that dog got away. I better use this straw to get out. Oh man, I bet he got out right here. Out of the straw. Dad gum it. Man, man, man. I think that dog we shot shot him over there, ran down. I didn't know that this was such a deep draw right here, but as you can see, there are dog tracks all the way through this. Unless he died in here, he's gone. We'll comb it pretty good. But I don't see him. That sucks. <sighs> Nothing. New spot. Would you have guessed? Rockin' Wade's 223. See if we can make something happen. Well, it is two days later. It is 6.30 in the morning. Wade is uh, headed this way to pick your boy up. And uh, we're, gonna it, we're gonna give it another go here. I wanna get a dog on the ground. Um, had some awesome luck decoying dogs. But we gotta keep the video going. If you guys like this video, please smash the thumbs up. Uh, it'll give us some good luck uh, for today's set. We're only going to go to two or three spots. I think we're going to go back to that one spot where we called in the four, uh, but didn't get a go on them and try it. I'm loving coyote hunting. Guys, I am ready to buy a 308 or a 223 and um, pimp it out, put a recordable optic, a recordable scope so I can film through the scope for you guys. Drop a comment down below and let me know if I should do that because nah, I'm probably just going to do it anyways. I'm standing here getting my shotgun loaded up. I go, Wade, what's that noise? He's like, man, it sounds like a water pump over yonder. We're at a cattle yard. Nope. Whatever that is, it's real big. First spot. Oh, man. I'm trying to shove it back in there. Hey, oh. It stopped. Nope. Oh. Well, we'll be throwing on the spare. Yeah. <laughs> baby, baby. We're trying to save them babies. Hi, babies. You. They're cute little farts. Right. <laughs> uh, so we put weight on the nail. Looks like she's holding. We're going to take her to the farm. Well, we tried. We really did. 
tried, tried, tried. One thing I can say is um, we didn't bait the coyotes. We didn't have a bait pile, you know, a kill pile. That was just random uh, fields that Wade and I could get permission on. Random tree rows, big uh, wooded areas, sitting next to big wooded areas and just turning on the call and seeing if you could pull out a dog. That's all it was. Um, and it went really well. We should have took more shots, uh, but every darn time one dog would get in front of you, here came another dog. So you wanted to wait until we both had a shot and we missed out on, I don't know, two, two good goes, I would say. Uh, but you live and you learn. And honestly, I had an awesome time and that's what matters most. Honestly, guys, having fun and hunting are two things that are relatable that should always happen together. If you're not having fun hunting, don't do it. If you go and you get skunked um, and you're all upset, oh my God, blah, 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 you probably shouldn't be hunting. Hunting is, is hunting. And uh, we as humans, we make mistakes too. So um, we're not always the ultimate predator, <laughs> you know, uh, kind of get, uh, uh, do I go do I go you know I learned a lot that day but I had a ton of fun big shout out to Wade for uh, making it happen like always um it's getting warmer it's getting a lot warmer real fast I need to be taking off this hoodie I am burning up uh, I, but I don't know how the coyote hunting is gonna be uh, it was still pretty chilly last week when we did that uh, now with it this warm I just don't know how good it would be. If you guys want me to go try some more, believe you me, I will. I want to, I just don't know how it's gonna be with the warm weather. Another thing, I need a good rifle. I used to have a 243, but I sold it because I just never used it. And now, I think I'm gonna buy a 223. You know, I think that's a good size gun that I can use for about anything especially dogs, you know, I think it'd be awesome. Drop a comment down below. I need to know what brand of 223 y'all recommend me getting. How about that? And if you have any brands in mind that are good, you know, like 720 pixel, you know, recordable scopes, put the brand down in there so I can go buy that bad boy. I want to get sat up. I think if I would have had my own gun, my own my own rifle, I would have been squeezing the trigger, you know, a little more, not been so patient. But we live and we learn. Thank you to Wade. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wish we would have put a dog on the ground. I guarantee you the one dog that we shot did not survive because we pumped some rounds in him. Uh, those loads that I was shooting at that dog were three and a half inch uh, lead shot, turkey loads. So I guarantee you I peppered him pretty darn good. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Awesome banger videos coming, pigeon hunts, pigeon trappings firing up. I know, you guys want the pigeon trapping, it's coming. Big shout out to Justin for winning the five dozen decoys that we did, what, last week? Congrats, Justin, I hope you enjoy them. They are in the mail and headed your way. But again, thank you all. We will see y'all on the next one. You thought I'd be getting lonely, thought I'd be getting angry, but girl, I ain't even getting mad.